going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I got this with me today. It's a Cobalt 24 Max 2-in-1 leaf blower and weed whacker. It has a max cutting distance of 12 inches on the weed whacker. 30 minutes of runtime for the weed whacker and you get 50 minutes of runtime on the blower. So you get about 20 more minutes to use it on the blower versus using it on the weed whacker. Let's open it and see what's in it. It's a five year warranty on both of the tools and you get a three year warranty on the battery. Very cool. All right, let's open this sucker. All right, so it comes with the charger, battery, five year warranty that's the item number in case you guys want to find out the exact model that we're talking about cobalt 24 max brushless all right let's do uh let's open it up and see how well it does all right all the that must be the tube all right, so we'll just set that to the side right there. Now let's uh, put it like this. All right, over here in this corner is the charger. I like the color black and blue, it looks cool. All right, this is the battery. Has a battery indicator on it. That's really cool, very handy. All right, so now we know how much charge is in the battery. Okay, what else we got in here? Uh, plastic. Uh, yep. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is the handle. I bet for the weed whacker. I bet that's exactly what that is. If you look here, these are all the different tools and stuff that they make that accept this type of battery. Thirty plus tools accept the same type of battery. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right, so this is the handle. So we'll set that over there. What is this? Oh, that's the actual blower. Check that thing out inside. That looks really cool. Can you see inside there? See the fan? It looks like a, a jet engine or something sitting in there. Man, I like this thing. This thing looks awesome. Heck yeah. whacker thing in the jigger check that out look the pole comes out Ooh, uh, like that boom that's pretty cool I can see there Whoops. so all you got to do is hit it against the ground and it will lease more string for you which is pretty cool I like that feature all right let's uh huh See what happens if you stick a battery in it boom battery and it looks like it just attaches like that oh yeah you all see that you can fold it up like that here I don't take the battery out of it you can fold it up like that and store it which is pretty cool because weed whackers take up a lot of space in your garage because of the length of them. So the fact that this one folds is a nice feature. It only accepts just one bolt. One bolt holds the whole thing together, which is really cool. So I'm going to set that back in there. Let's see, uh, let's see what else we got in the box. Everything's laid out on the table. The main unit for the blower, the main unit for the weed whacker, the accessory parts, the battery and the charger and then this thing so I think what I'll do is is I'll go ahead and assemble it so let's get these out these are probably the screws that you need to lock that into place 
that's the Allen wrench that you need. Manual for the battery, manual for the charger, and then of course you have a manual for the blower and the weed whacker. So let's assemble it. Spots right here. So I'm assuming that's where this, these two will go. We provided Allen wrench to tighten up the two bolts on the neck of the weed whacker. And able to put the handle on it, you gotta completely remove this lever in there. So that way you can slide it on and over the weed whacker to get it to fit. So anyway, the price point for these for this combo is 172 on Amazon. Lowe's is selling it for 129, and then Home Depot has it for 139. But I wasn't sure. Now I saw that online. I can't remember if not if Home Depot carries cobalt stuff. I thought only Lowe's carry cobalt. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly into the tool game. I just thought that I would um, do a review on this stuff because, you know, it's technology and it's electrical and why not? You know, it's brand new. Let's do it. Let's check it out. But anyway, it is a lithium ion powered battery. That's something you just can't go wrong with. Brushless motors. Brushless is the key. See, there is a difference between a brushless and a brush motor. Brushless just means that there are no touching in the actual commutator the commutator is the actual thing that spins inside of the can motor that's the actual thing that spins that is called a commutator inside of that on top of that is the actual um, dial which will go in is held by springs and that spring will push a brush that brush rubs up against the commutator on both sides to complete electrical spark now the only problem with that object is, is that the brush will eventually break, wear out, and cause issues in the motor itself. So they designed it a motor without the brushes, hence brushless systems. They are twice as fast, less moving parts, less maintenance, uh, dirt and water and grime and shit doesn't get messed up in into them too mad because they don't have a can lid to hold the brushes in place anymore. It's just a free open cylinder. You know, um, I think I've told you guys pretty much everything I could about it. Uh, 5 volt, let's see here, it's uh, 24 volt, max speed, max run time, low weight, all that good stuff. Let's take it outside and see how well it works. Okay, so I got the weed whacker and I got the battery. Battery just slides in at the top like that and you're good to go. We'll see how well it works. pretty good job of cutting all that down all right and then of course once you're done weed whacking you see this it makes a mess so what do you need you need a blower So there you have it guys, 24 volt blower and trimmer, 12 inch span on the trimmer, 410 CFM on the blower, 50 minute run time, 30 minute run time, both 24 volt brushless, find it for about 150 bucks, seems to be about the average price depending on if you buy it on Amazon, Lowe's or Home Depot, 
but I'm actually really impressed with it. I like it. I like the color. I like the design. Um, I like that it's brushless. I like how long the battery lasts. Uh, I definitely like how they put a meter on the battery so there's no guessing if this battery is charged or not charged. Great features, man. I absolutely recommend it. And on top of that, you get a five-year warranty from the manufacturer for both the weed eater and the blower. A three-year warranty on the battery. You can't go wrong with that, guys. Just make sure to keep your receipt. That being said, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. You guys be cool. And see y'all next time. Peace. Ah. The cool thing about this system is that it comes with all kinds of extra attachments and stuff that you can buy at a later date. I mean, it's, it's like a, a list of stuff that you can buy. But anyway...